All right. So um, at this time, it seems to be functional. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, I have a couple ideas, <laughs> but let's go ahead and turn it on. And uh, we see we've got some volts here. And um, that doesn't look right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a scope. I have this lovely little scope here. I just, like, just love this thing. All right, so um, let's go ahead and turn him on, which is super quick to do. So we are at 10 volts per division. When I turn this on, I get 10 volts. And we are um, probing the 10 volt section of this supply. So it should be another raw power in should be 15 volts from the supply and so let's change this to 5 volts per division so 5 10 15 so it is 15 volts coming into the supply so the supply itself though if i go to uh, volts it says that we have 15 volts and this is amps so we've got about uh, four and a half, five amps, four and a half amps. So that seems to be okay. Um, so what I think is going on is two things. One was I had a bad capacitor and uh, there may be maybe a few other issues, but I think the main issue is this meter. Uh, I tried to remember back, I think I did a video on it. I should go watch my own video, but I believe this meter doesn't always do the right thing. See that? And so I think it has problems. And it works a little better on its side, but you can see me tapping it. It's just, it's just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. Oh, see, there we go. See, it should be 15 volts. And as I tap it, it's not. So I can't remember what was wrong with this meter. There was something wrong and I had to disassemble the whole galvanic movement and it was a pain in the rear. And uh, so I really need a new meter for this thing, uh, but it is functional. So I should be able now to use it as a, um, as what I need it for. I can reduce the current and it finally will finally will lower. So that's the current, everything's working except for the meter, I believe. So we're okay. So crank the meter up. Let's look at, at uh, current draw. And I don't think, I don't think it's that much current. I think it's that much current <laughs> if I have to, if I have to uh, guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume this thing is just fine and we'll be able to do some things over on this side. But before we get there, before we get back to the main project, I want to end end the video on me repairing this thing. So um, I wanted to show you one thing. So let's do that. All right. I'm going to take my scope. Now, the nice thing about having a battery powered scope is this. The ground lead of a normal oscilloscope is connected to earth ground, but this is floating, okay? So I can reach in and just attach it to anything I want to. It doesn't matter. It will always just be giving me a differential uh, reading. So I'm gonna attach it to a very odd place. And let's take a look at that. Okay, and let me go down here. And you can say, oh, what's, what, what's that? Okay. And so I'm going to disconnect our load. All right. So this is a sine wave, right? And what am I looking at? I'm looking at the output of the transformer. This is the actual winding output of the transformer. And you can see that we're getting a, uh, we're getting a sine wave here, right? It's a bit lumpy because it's got some diodes in there that's trying to rectify and everything. But there's these funny little things going on. Let me attach the load again. And you can see that we've got these little flat spots here. And that is telling me that the SCR pre-regulation is working. Remember, I told you that it operated kind of like pulse, um, 
with modulation well what it's doing is this is kind of a hold off or it's it's a funny it's a real funny thing to try to to try to um try to explain i'm going to limit the current on what i'm doing here and you can see that uh, this thing moves a little bit as i'm varying the load of the uh of the uh, uh supply and it's doing this weird pre-regulation thing. It's hard to capture, it's hard to explain, but uh, that's what I was looking for. It does seem to be functional, so I'm not too worried about that. It does seem to be giving me the voltage that I need and everything. So I'm gonna call this thing fixed, um, but I did, I did wanna show, show that to you. Um, and uh, that's this weird pre-regulation thing that goes in before the regulation. Um, it's actually uh, limiting. It's limiting the raw voltage before it gets converted, so it's always just a few volts above what it needs to be, and it does by, that by sort of clipping the sine wave, and so you, you the uh, full bridge rectifier doesn't get to use all parts of the waveform, only certain parts of the waveform, and that just reduces the voltage. This will get regulated. This will eventually hit a. Uh, a, uh, I can probably show it to you here. This will hit a big, uh, well, that's interesting. Uh, let me put the ground on it. So that was, so this is, uh, what I just showed you there is, uh, this is one side of the transformer to the fully rectified part. So you can see it's taking all of the plus side and uh, converting it. And then this should be all the negative side and converting it. Yeah, there's the negative side. Here's the, well, they look kind of the same, don't they? Interesting. Okay. Anyway, that was confusing. Um, let me show you the the uh, that big big uh, capacitor. It should have that nice voltage on it, and it does. There you go. See, it's got a real nice voltage on it. All right. Um, so power supply is good. Uh, we should be able to use it to troubleshoot now. Get back to my uh, get back to my project here, and uh, give you a quick glimpse on that. Before I didn't have enough current to run. I had enough current to run the first section, but not the first two sections together. And it had to do with we didn't have enough current going into this DC to DC converter over here. But now I can show that to you. Uh, which I did previously, but I'll do it once again. Let's hook up a ground here and uh, we will look at the voltage in and we will change up here to five volts per division. division. Um, so we have uh, five, 10, 15, and then we should have a plus 10 and there's our plus 10. And then we should have a minus five and there's our minus five. So. Everything's working good. We can get back to uh, videos on the uh, gigahertz amplifier here. All right, side. Sometimes you have to take a side step and uh, fix your equipment before you can <laughs> proceed with your project.